Hello traders, FS Picoletti here. Today is Monday, November 11th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on the US dollar again, like I've been saying, I mean, I still think we have possibly two options. Option number one is this makes an ABC correction to the last five waves up, makes three waves down, and then turns back up like that. Option number two is this really is the end of a wave five, and this is a one, two, three, which will stretch out like this, and eventually end up looking like that, probably taking out the low of wave four. Either scenario, it's exactly the same pattern until you get about two-thirds through that third wave right around here, which is why in my eyes, it's definitely not important to know the difference yet. Heading down to the weekly time frame, I'm still looking at this move down as an A. I'm still looking at this move up as possibly being a way B. Still no signs of the way B being over. I mean, it might even drift up to a higher Fibonacci level. So, until we actually get evidence on the sort of time phase of the way B being over, we have to keep in mind the trend is still up. Eventually, I do think we will go down and make a wave C of wave 4. But keep in mind, this is the weekly time frame, and this potentially will take months to play out. Let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I still think there's a good chance that we could turn, but like I said, it might end up going up to one of these higher Fibonacci levels. The trend is definitely still up, and you definitely, definitely should still be looking for longs in an uptrend. If and when it does finally go down and break Strata, that's what will tell us the way B is over, which definitely has not happened yet. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, like I said, no breaker starts it tells me the trend is definitely still up. This move down to me looks very impulsive, which is why I think it could either be a wave A or a wave 1. This move up could be a crutch into this move down, which is why we got our Fibonacci retracement on here. If it does make a nice engulfing turn out of Fibonacci level, then I potentially would look at that as the end of a wave B or 2, and potentially go down for either a C, which would make a higher low and then continue back up, or wave 3, which would give us the break of struts that we've been waiting for to help prove that the wave B on the higher time frames is complete. So let's take it down to the 1 hour time frame. So on the 1 hour time frame, like I said, this move up very likely could be a crutch to this last move down, especially because this last move down, to me, is definitely a trend. It looks like a nice 5 wave trend. So, this move up could be a Kretzen. So, if it does respect one of these Fibonacci retracement levels, if it goes down, if it breaks, then it likely would be the end of a wave B or the end of a wave 2, and it most likely would continue down for either a C, which, like I said, a wave C would potentially make a higher low compared to this low, and then continue back up, or it will make a wave 3, which a wave 3 will just keep on going down, taking out the low of wave 4, confirming, hopefully, that the big wave beyond the daily time frame is complete. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner, and as always, thank you, and happy trading.